Okay, so in this video, I'm going to introduce a really important model, uh, the complete markets model, which is based on the idea that income at any point in time is uncertain. The reason why it is uncertain is because at every point in time, uh, the world can be at uh, very different states. Uh, for example, uh, the world could be in a prosperity period in which the economy is booming, or there could be a recession, there could be a war, etc. And we will call uh, this the set of the states uh, in which the world can be at any point in time big S. Let's denote by uh, pi of S the probability that uh, a specific set S could happen given that the sum of all the probabilities uh, for each of the states of the world have to equal to 1. So consumers know this and uh, they want somehow to uh, uh, get some kind of insurance against this uncertainty about future income. Now in this economy we have two kinds of assets. First there is a risk-free bond which will give you a rate of return of R regardless of the state of the world in which you're in. So the way it works is imagine you take one unit of your income at period T well and you buy a bond with this then in period T plus one you will receive the same unit and uh, an interest rate R at T plus one. All of this in terms of income, of output. Because in this model, output is the same as income, and uh, also consumption is measured in terms of output. So everything is in the same units as output for simplicity. There's no money here. Everything is in real terms. So, to get the price of the bond, the only thing we have to find out is basically uh, how much do we have to pay now uh, so that we can have an extra unit of output in the future? And of course the answer is the discounted value of this unit of output which is uh, 1 over 1 plus R. And uh, this is the price of the bond. Now there is another kind of asset which uh, we will call the Arrow de Bruce security which works in the following way. Imagine you're starting uh, uh, from the point of view of time t, and uh, you want to insure yourself against all the possible um, states of the world that could happen at period t plus 1. What you do is you buy uh, an arrow de Bruce security for each of these states. So there exists a uh, and now the bro security which pays you one dollar or well one unit of output at t plus one if uh, the state of the world occurs if it doesn't it doesn't pay you anything you do the same for every state you buy an arrow the bruce security that pays you one if this state occurs and nothing if the state doesn't occur and uh, the present value of the price of a security that insures you against uh, the state S would, it, would just be the price over 1 plus R. So this is just the price of the arrow of the Bruce security that insures you against S at period T. So at equilibrium at any point in time there has to be uh, no arbitrage possibilities meaning uh, the price of the bond has to be equal to the uh, price of all of the arrows, the brew securities that you've bought to insure yourself against the future, against any possible state of the world. Recall that the price of the bond is just 1 over 1 plus R, and that has to be equal to the sum of all of the uh, uh, prices of the arrow, the brew securities, meaning you sum up the price for uh, that you pay to insure yourself against each state of the world 
And in equilibrium this no arbitrage condition has to hold. Now we can take this out of the sum and we will see that uh, these two will cancel out and we will be left by the uh, reduced form of the no arbitrage condition which says that uh, the sum over all the states of the world of the price of uh, each arbitrage security has to be equal to 1. This basically means that if you buy an arrow de Bruce security for each possible state of the world, at least one of those states will be realized and you will receive one unit of output at t plus one. So you basically construct the portfolio of arrow de Bruce securities that works like a bond because you know that you're going to be paid a unit of, a unit of output at uh, in the future. And that is what the uh, no arbitrage condition means.